It took me a while to get around Crow Pie 2, but I make it worth a while. Hey guys, this is not the first time I'm going to talk about educational toys or tools uh, from Elecrow. A couple of months ago I covered a Kickstarter project Crowbits in this video here, and those are really clever modules that use snap-on connectors to enable younger kids uh, to do some creative things like programming, designing, etc. Prior to that, Electro also released Crow Pi 2, a very interesting platform for Raspberry Pi 4. And don't worry if you haven't heard about Crow Pi 1, I've missed that one completely. Crow Pi 2 is with me, and I finally got around to write a review and make this video. And it wasn't because I wasn't using it, it was just I didn't have enough time to cover it because there's plenty to talk about. So what is Crow Pi 2 and why? It's so cool. Now imagine a laptop with a Raspberry Pi 4 inside, but that's not what's special about Crow Pi 2. Underneath this keyboard you will find a specially designed PCB with lots of different sensors on it. I mean, there is lots. There is even a breadboard included so you could take advantage of the full 40 pin GPIO header as well as the uh, listed modules. This means if you want to get your favorite board with you and prototype on the go, you no longer have to have a separate box with all the modules and cables, etc. You can quickly whip that out and you have all in one platform to start prototyping, testing stuff and learning new things. It's pretty cool. What's even better that this barely scratches the surface of what actually Crow Pi 2 is. Crow Pi 2 comes inside a massive box in which you're gonna find a lot of things. And by a lot of things, I seriously mean a lot. The laptop itself, it's a 10.1 inch 1080p display with Raspberry Pi 4 inside. Now, it is containing a full Raspberry Pi 4 and you'll be able to swap it on something with more RAM should you desire. I already mentioned that underneath the keyboard you're gonna find that PCB, but the keyboard itself it's wireless and you can connect via associated dongle. It's a bit of shame that it's not a Bluetooth keyboard or it doesn't have a, like a pass-through adapter for charging, but it works perfectly adequate to what it's designed for. As long as you don't mind a bit of a flex, I, I mean, it's not the most expensive keyboard, but it does the job well. It also comes with associated mouse, so you don't have to use the trackpad that is already included. That familiar laptop form factor means that you're gonna find all the things that you would expect on an average laptop. There is a two megapixel camera, stereo speakers, a microphone, so you can start creating vision and smart assistant projects, and a basic I.O. to connect, including all ports that are available on the Raspberry Pi 4. There are buttons to toggle the power and increase and decrease the brightness of the screen. And there is a tray at the back that doubles as a storage for a power bank. Now this power bank can be actually used to power the laptop itself. So you're going to have a full portable solution. If you want to repurpose that tray for something else, then you can use the provided brick to power it as you would with a normal plugged in laptops. The screen itself, it's pretty decent. It's 10.1 inch with 1080p resolution, and decent enough brightness and color reproduction. It's IPS panel, so you're not going to be adjusting it constantly to get um, your image right. You can use Crow Pi 2 in three different ways. As a regular laptop, where you can access the browser, do some stuff online, watch a couple of movies or videos, and for the most part, you'll have just regular Raspberry Pi uh, experience. After all, it is a Raspberry Pi board that is designed to be a Linux computer. Second use case is an educational platform with plenty of tutorials to go around and a special user management system that keeps track of your progress. You can share one device between different people and individuals will have their progress over learning stored on the device which is really, really good if you, well, have multiple kids and you would like to show them how to use the device and how to program. Tutorials are split into a Python and Scratch, which aim to introduce the concept of programming and using various included modules uh, for educational purposes. 
The inclusion of the small breadboard assures you that you don't really have to carry anything around and for the most part that extra storage at the back is going to be plenty enough to have all the components you need for your next small project. Third use case involves those two retro gaming pads that are included in the box. Swap the SD card around and load the RetroPie and you'll be able to enjoy some retro gaming with the pads included. Don't forget Raspberry Pi 4 is an excellent emulator for retro gaming and that way when you're done with the programming and lessons you can switch off and have some fun with a device like that. I mean the screen is perfectly capable of playing a lot of different games. I've mentioned I couldn't find enough time to actually review the device even though I've been using the device quite often. I found it super handy to troubleshoot my other projects, especially the inclusion of different modules on the board. Let me try things out before I would take them and apply them into a project. That way I knew what I'm getting into it and even I was able to fix a couple of other things like a ultrasonic sensor on the Raspberry Pi car kit that I received earlier. And of course I was never limited just to that platform alone as Crow Pi 2 allows you to use the Raspberry Pi F4 just the way you like. So I was able to connect Raspberry Pi Pico and start programming that without setting up entire uh, tool chain on the Windows computer, which is a bit of a nightmare. So wherever your interests lie, Chrome Pi 2 is quite interesting platform. And yes, you could repurpose an older laptop, load the Linux on it and use it as a dedicated Linux platform to testing out. However, personally, I do appreciate an easy to use machine, which is Raspberry Pi 4 based and testing it out on that platform, especially if my project's gonna run on Raspberry Pi uh, devices in the future. Having all those extra bits and modules handy means that I don't have to always head to my uh, rack of different components and play about with cables just to quickly test something out. And this is something I really appreciate. Other things to improve? Yes, definitely. For starters, I'd like to see a better keyboard. I mean, the keyboard is possible, but if uh, Electro wants their users to use um, Crow Pi 2 after they finish their lessons, then probably a better typing experience goes a long way to keep this device on their desks. Also considering the space Crow Pi 2 takes, uh, I would like to see an option to actually boot it from USB, so I would be able to add SSD or similar storage solution to speed up Raspberry Pi 4. I think that would be a neat add-on uh, to a device like this. I'd like to thank Electro for sending me this so I could have a closer look and share my opinion with you and encourage you to use that as a testing platform or learning experience for you or maybe for your kids. If you're interested, I'm gonna include a couple of links in the description of this video. As for now guys, you know what's gonna happen, I don't have a posting schedule and if you don't want to miss the next video, you know how it works, I'm not going to explain you that. But I will, as always, mention that you do have a social media account in which I share usually work in progress, so if you're interested in what's coming up next, consider using one of your favorite ones to follow me there. So, thanks so much for watching and see you next time. Take care. Bye.